Hello, would you like to increase the profitability of your AdWords campaigns and waste less budget? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that using negative keywords. Hello and thanks for joining in. My name is Ozair and in this video, I'm going to show you how to increase your profitability of your AdWords campaigns using negative keywords. Now, many advertisers running AdWords campaign uh, don't use uh, negative keywords in their account. Uh, this results in a lot of wasted budget and you don't get the positive return on your investment. So I'm going to show you a few ways as to how to use negative keywords effectively and some strategies as to why you need to use negative keywords at all times uh, before you even start running an AdWord campaign. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is when you do enter uh, negative keywords or set up negative keywords in your account, you need to set them up as both singular and plural. So negative keywords work differently. So you, it's not like the other mesh types where Google will take into account uh, the close variation. So always enter both. I know it's a little bit more work, but trust me, it saves a lot of money in the long run. Then you need to research your, your keywords or negative keywords before you start your campaign. To do that, you can either go to your Google Keyword Planner or another tool which I would highly recommend is keyword.io. Now, I've entered a keyword over here called for wedding photographer. And I would do this exercise before I even start running my campaign because what I want to do is to enter the negative keywords as soon as possible and before I've started the campaign so that I don't waste any uh, wasted budget on unrelated or unwanted clicks. So if I'm a wedding photographer in the UK and I'm going through this list and I see Toronto, I'm going to put Toronto in my uh, list. So there are over 625 keywords um, which you can go through or download and then sort them out. So it may take a bit of a time, but you will get at least 60, 70 or possibly more uh, keywords from here which you can use as negative and it will cut out all the wasted budget straight away so this is something which you must do spend a bit of time even if it takes you half an hour or an hour do it because you're going to save a lot of money so if I'm not um, let's have a look um, if I don't do destination wedding photography then I'll put in the word destination um, if it shows me something like amateur, although, you know, if you are a professional photographer, then you want to put the word amateur in here as a negative keyword. If I don't enter, uh, if I don't do weddings in Iceland or Indian weddings, I can put in. So you can see so many uh, ideas for your negative keywords, Malaysia. Um, you got the gist as to how you can search or research for your negative keywords, make a list and enter them straight away before you even get started with your uh, campaign. So, where is it gone? My notepad. Research in Keyword Planner and Keyword dot. Uh, third thing you need to do is to create a negative keyword list and list saves you a ton of time so let's go into our adwords account and then from here you go to your shared library negative keyword list 
as you can see I've already um, made one over here in this account or in my test account but all you do is create a new one by clicking on the plus button name it and start adding your uh, list over here and then what you can do is then you can apply this list to any campaign you want so if you've got a list of over 200 300 negative keywords and you start another new campaign then you don't need to physically enter those uh, number of keywords uh, one by one and take so much time all you do is allocate or uh, link this negative keyword list to your new campaign so it's, it'll save you a ton of time using a negative list okay then we move on to our match types so just like our keyword match types uh, you can use uh, mag negative keywords as ex uh, exact match phrase match or broad match so let's have a look at a keyword and how uh, the negative match types will affect the ad running or not so I'm going to bring this table over here for the word sales calves which is set up as a negative broad negative phrase and negative exact so where you don't see any of these red circles it means that the this search terms will trigger your ads whereas wherever you see this um, red icon means that the that particular match type is going to stop the ad running through so let's have a look at the ones which are being blocked by the negative keyword so scarves silk is going to be blocked by the negative broad match although it is in the reverse order it is being blocked only by the broad match and not by the phrase and the exact match so for the broad match type it doesn't matter which order they're in as long as they are both or all the keywords are on that uh, search term your ad will uh, be stopped and it won't show through even when there is a word between the two words which is the silk and the scarves we've got gift in between the broad match is going to stop so this will give you a really good idea and understanding of how the different match types uh, can uh, stop your ad showing through so you can uh, direct your traffic to the relevant ad group or the relevant campaign and it's a great way to um, stop unwanted uh, clicks uh, happening on your uh, on your ads and wasting your money so i hope this gives you a, a good idea as to how we can use the various match types uh, for negative keywords which don't not many people uh, use it and quite often they don't understand how negative keywords uh, work in different match types okay let's go back to our notes the next one is your search query report so once you've started running your campaign and you start to get impressions what you need to do is to go to your uh, keywords and then go to your search term report and in here you will see a long list of uh, search terms which triggered your ad and if you find any uh, term or words or keywords which are not relevant to you or your uh, product or business then you enter that into your uh, negative keyword or onto your negative keyword uh, to your on your list the next step is to use nags for both search and display campaigns I don't see many uh, people using uh, negative keywords for the display campaigns so that will also help uh, cut out wastage and the last one is to audit your 
legs regularly either as the keywords or the list it just uh, just to make sure that you haven't put anything in there which can potentially stop your impressions and that is it for this one uh, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification uh, bell icon and you'll be the first one to be notified when I do upload other similar videos like this one or if you would like me to create any videos uh, on AdWords uh, for any problems or questions you may have then put that in the comment box below and I will do my best to uh, create one for you uh, thank you for your time I really do appreciate it I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you in the next one bye for now